biscuits with some cute little feet on top. These are perfect for a girl or a boy because you can just substitute whichever colours you'd like. The things you'll need is a large baking tray with some baking paper, a large rolling pin, we've got some acrylic spaces. These ones are just 6mm clear acrylic. These are just to help our rolling out our dough nice and evenly. These are from Cut and Craft which I'll link in the description below. They sell these in all different sizes depending on how thick you would like the biscuits. Then I've got some two sheets of baking paper just for smooth rolling our biscuits. We've got our biscuit dough which is already prepared. We use the Miss Biscuit recipe which I'll link down in the comments below. She has it for sale on her website. Then we've got a plain round cutter for our male biscuits and our scalloped cutter for our female biscuits. Then we've got a few different shades of fondant. We've got our pink which we're going to be using for the girls, the blue for the boys and some ivory for the feet. Then we've got a silicon mould to make our baby feet. Then we've got some acrylic rolling pins which are textured. So for our boys we've got a nice square print and then our girls we've got a nice floral print which we'll be putting into the icing at the end. So let's get started. So we've got our baking tray which is ready. So we're just going to roll out our dough and then we'll put them straight onto the prepared tray. So we'll take off one sheet and put our dough onto the first sheet. We'll just squish that down a little bit just to make it easier when we start rolling. Place the second sheet of baking paper on top and give that a light squish. Then you need to place your crisp clear spaces, one on each side, just so our rolling pin can use that as a guide. And then just start rolling with gentle pressure. We'll know when it's done when we start rolling on top of the clear spaces at 6mm and they'll be nice and flat. So we know the dough must be at 6mm now because they're rolling nice and flat and the dough is not moving. So we'll put the rolling pin aside, take off the top sheet and the dough is ready to be used. So we're going to cut some rounds for our boy biscuits and then some sculpt one with a pretty edge for our girls. So then we're just going to peel away the dough and place that on the tray which we can use after once again. So we just re-roll that one. And then we're just going to use a spatula which makes it a bit easier. Get right underneath without distorting the shape. So we'll just place those on the baking tray. These biscuits don't spread at all so not too fussy on how much room there is around them. We're going to take these into the oven for 7 minutes at 160 degrees and we'll be back to decorate. Now that they've come out of the oven, we've let them cool for about 20 minutes and now we're ready to ice them. We'll take our blue fondant, we'll just make sure it's nice and soft and pliable by kneading it lightly. We'll put some cloth layer on the bench and we'll just roll this out. We don't want to roll it too thin because we are going to go over with our impression rolling pins. That will be sufficient. Now we're going to take our rolling pin, which has little squares on it that we've shown you earlier on in the video, and we're just going to roll this into the fondant. So you want to just slowly go with even pressure to make sure the impression is all even. So we've done half, and now we can keep going on this side. We're going to take our cutter, and we're just going to cut our rounds to go on top of our biscuit. So make sure you just choose a bit where the pattern isn't really nice and clear. And now we're just going to take our biscuits, Grab a little bit of water on a paintbrush, flip the icing piece over and wet that. Then we'll just flip it back over gently, line it up with our biscuit and stick it on. You don't want to press too hard because you do want to maintain that impression, but just lightly is fine. So now we can just put that to the side and we can re knead that and use that at a later time. Now next we're going to roll out our pink and do the background of our pink biscuits. So just make sure that's nice and soft and then we're just going to lay that down and do the same thing, a light roll and then we'll use a different impression for the background. So once you get to your desired thickness, we'll grab our rolling pin and we'll just start at the top, push that into the fondant so we just go so over the top. Now make sure you get the same cutter that you cut your biscuits with. This time it's the scallop edge cutter and we'll just go in and cut three of those or however many biscuits you've baked and stick them onto the biscuit like we did with the blue ones. So we'll put that to the side and we'll use that later on. Take our biscuits and 
just use a little water once again on a paintbrush. And just make sure you line up the scalloped edge with where it was scalloped off the biscuit and rub that on. Okay, so now that we've got all our background sorted, we are just going to grab our silicone bowl and we will need to put quite a bit of corn flour into this one just because it has a lot of little toast and we don't want those to get stuck. We're going to take our ivory fondant that we've already mixed up, just a little bit, make sure it's nice and soft, and roll it into a little long sausage sort of shape and push it really firmly into the mold. There will be excess, but we'll just trim that off and then we'll have a little baby foot. So you just want to hold the mold, get a nice sharp knife and start trimming away. So it might move out of shape a little bit as you're trimming, but you can just push that one back into its spot and you'll get a nice clean item. And then you just flip it out and you'll have a baby foot. So you want to make enough sets of these of how many cookies you have and then you can place them on top. So now we're just going to get a paintbrush and a bit of water and very gently pick each one up. Turn it over and put a tiny bit of water, don't need too much here, and then place it on. Just really softly pat it on. You don't want to lose the shape of the little feet. So now that we've placed all the baby feet on, you just want to, with a dry brush or with only just a tiny bit of water, we just want to brush off any excess corn flour just to make sure they look nice and neat. Once you've done that, they're all finished. You can either package them up in clear cellophane bags or you can just put them out on your dessert table. Thanks for watching our video on how to make our little baby shower biscuits. We hope you enjoy and please like, subscribe and we'll see you next time.